Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com. Today I'd like to introduce a new feature that Facebook is now rolling out, which makes it easier to manage and configure your privacy preferences on Facebook. It's actually called Privacy Shortcuts. It hasn't rolled out to every Facebook user yet. I've actually tried to log into a couple different Facebook accounts, and the only one so far that has it is my personal Facebook, so that's the one I'm going to be using. But it definitely makes it easier to manage your privacy settings. So I hope this tutorial helps, and enjoy. Okay, so here we are on my Facebook profile, and you'll notice that um, at a glance, everything looks the same as it has um, since Facebook released Facebook Timeline. However, there was one difference that I noticed up here at the top right, where it says my name, and then there is the home link. There's this little link that looks like a lock symbol. And if you click on that, you'll notice that up at the top here, it's called Privacy Shortcuts. And I think this is great because if you've watched some of my other tutorials, I've shown you how to go in depth into your settings, change your privacy settings, make it so only certain posts are visible to certain people, how to view your profile as other people see it. Uh, and it just gets kind of uh, convoluted and difficult to do. However, this feature makes it a lot easier, especially for new users of Facebook or some of Facebook's older generation users. Uh, which is definitely increasing. So let's take a look at the different options we have here. The first option we have is who can see my stuff? Pretty simple, plain English. Who can see your stuff? Not just your posts, not just anything, all of your stuff, who can see it? So if you click on this little arrow to the right, we can drop this section down and we'll see who can see my future posts. So this means by default, when you post something on Facebook, who is going to see it? Now, when Timeline first came out, this was set to public for a lot of people and people didn't know it and they would post pictures of their kids and their family and what they're doing and anybody in the world could see it. And so I did a bunch of tutorials saying, you need to change this, you need to change this setting because right now everybody can see anything you post and it's just not what I think most people want their profiles set up like. So now it's a lot easier to do. You can see mine is set by default to friends and if I click this drop down, I could change it to public only me or, or a custom filter. So that's an easy way to change the default setting for your future posts. And it also tells you where you can find this setting um, and other places. And it's basically when you write a post and you click to write a post over here, you can change your privacy setting for each individual post. Okay, so let's go back up here to our privacy shortcuts. Um, anything else in the who can see my stuff section? We have this use activity log link and uh, we've always been able to access the activity log but a lot of people don't know about it and the activity log is really a list of any time you have been mentioned on Facebook so if you're tagged in a photo or if a friend writes a post on their wall and mentions you in it um, you can see that so uh, all you have to do is click on this activity log I'm not going to do that because there might be some personal information on there that I don't want to show on YouTube here um, but if you wanted to access that the old way you can go over here and you can click on this activity log. Again, Facebook's just kind of throwing these things out there so you know they exist. So that's another option as well. And the last option we have under who can see my stuff is this view as option. So I've showed you in other tutorials how you can view your Facebook profile as somebody else, uh, but now you can access it even easier. So if you click this view as button, it's going to open up your Facebook profile and you'll see up here at the top, it, it kind of tells us how we can use this, but we can specify how we want to look at our profile. So as of right now, I'm looking at my profile as a public user. So anybody in the world can see all of the stuff that I'm looking at here. And I actually have a lot of stuff available to the public. Um, so, you know, you probably won't have quite as much as I do, but I do have a lot of stuff here. However, if I wanted to look at it as a specific person, I could click on this view as specific person link and I could go ahead and type one of my friend's names so I could see maybe I posted something and I didn't want a certain someone to see it. I could go in here and confirm that they cannot see that post. Um, so that's definitely an easier way to access that setting. I'm just going to close that out. Go back over here to my privacy shortcuts and we'll go to the second section. Um, who can contact me? This was very difficult to configure before and it's basically who is allowed to send you messages and Facebook gives you two options right here, either the basic filtering or the strict filtering. So the basic filtering, uh, a lot of people can send you messages and it gets kind of confusing but your messages are kind of separated into your friends messages and then messages from other people. I do the basic filtering because a lot of 
a lot of you guys, a lot of my viewers and a lot of people that read my website send me messages with questions and stuff on Facebook and I want to be receptive to those questions. So I do use basic filtering to allow that. But if you're just using Facebook for strictly personal reasons, you might want to put on strict filtering, which means only your friends can send you messages. And that really depends if you're getting a lot of spam messages and messages you don't want, then I would definitely check that radio dial as well. Then you can also see we have the option of specifying who can send us friend requests. So I, I have it open to everyone. Um, you know, I kind of judge it on a person-to-person -person basis. If you try and friend me on Facebook, I'm probably not going to accept it. I only friend people that I really know in real life, uh, but I do post a lot of things publicly. So if you send me a friend request, that's cool. You're then subscribed to my updates and you'll see all my public posts. Uh, and that's definitely a great way to keep updated on what I'm doing here on YouTube and on my website, uh, but I what? But don't be offended if I don't accept your friend request because I I do all my public stuff for the things that I want my viewers to see. But I could also make it so only friends of friends could send me friend requests. Um, so that might be an option that you want to think about as well. <clears throat> and then you'll see that this last section down here, the third section in our privacy shortcuts, is how you can stop someone from bothering you. So this is basically how you can block a user. Now there are other ways to block users. I've shown you in other tutorials, but it's a lot easier now from this privacy shortcut section. We can just click on this little link down here and you'll see that you have the option to add somebody's name or an email address. So if somebody's constantly bothering you here on Facebook, you can just go ahead and type their name in this box down here. So I could type John Doe and I could say block. I'm not gonna block John Doe right now. Uh, and then you can also go ahead and click on this see more settings link and that's actually going to take you into your Facebook privacy settings which is where most of my other tutorials on Facebook privacy took place. Um, so it's just this new feature up here at the top right. Again, it's not out for everybody yet, but it's coming. Facebook is again rolling it out very slowly. Don't ask me why they do this. I, as most of you probably know, I don't work for Facebook. I don't talk to anybody who works for Facebook. I just do my own thing. Um, and I think it's really, really strange that they roll these updates out so slowly. Uh, and it really makes it kind of disjointed and it's kind of disappointing um, as a technology enthusiast and Facebook user, but it is what it is. We can't really stop it. We're at the mercy of Facebook here. So uh, keep an eye on your profile. You will get this feature, I assume, in the next month or two. But again, don't hold me to that because I don't know for sure. Uh, but it definitely makes it easier to manage privacy on your Facebook profile. I hope this tutorial helps. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.